what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's your boy J.I. Productions, and I'm um, back at it again with a not so great video for y'all. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get straight into the damn video. Woo! driving two miles per hour going down the street you may ask well at 6 50 in the morning my bags decided to just give the fuck out on me on my way to work isn't that just peachy y'all and my job is literally down the street i got my boy back to the money following me literally going five miles per hour because my car, I, I don't know what the hell happened. I was driving and then all of a sudden I heard a smack, a bang, and then I looked down at my controller and the driver's side rear bag is on six pounds. Now, this is extremely unfortunate, not just because it's the bag, but because I'm supposed to be in Dallas this weekend. So, hopefully it's just a line because what happened was when it, when that happened and it went down to six, I pulled over immediately. And I tried to air it back up. And when I, or, when I aired it back up, it held the air. It wasn't until I started driving, I was able to get down the street a little bit and then pass a light. And then boom, it dropped back down again. Now this time I tried to fill it up and it went right back out. So I think it may have blown the airline because when I pulled over initially and checked the bag, the bag was perfectly fine. It wasn't leaking any air. I didn't feel any tears. So I think I might have blown the line, put a hole in the line or something. Cause, oh fuck, now the driver's side is even, uh, I'm just, I know I'm fucking shit up right now. So this is my morning, so great so great i was literally just thinking to myself in my head how much i love my fucking car and this is what we got so oh man uh, i'll get back to y'all once we get the car on the bed this is crazy all right y'all update so we got the car to work safely the front splitter it's all good, no scrapes, no scratches, no cracks on the side skirts, on the front splitter, nothing. Getting up this driveway, you know, your boy angled the fuck out that hole, ain't scraped, nothing except the exhaust, but that's all good. Just got the wheel off the car, had to back it up on some wood blocks, but just got the wheel off the car. Finna see if we do a bag. Hopefully we didn't because I'm trying to go to Dallas. You know, I already bought my tickets on VIP parking passes. So, so well, I really don't want to VIP park a Nissan Rogue. <laughs> so hopefully it's just the airline and I can get one, some ordered and sent to the job and I could just easily replace it. But damn, this is about to get, this is about to be hella tricky. Give me a second, y'all. All right, y'all. So, quick update, man. Quick update. The sun is now out. I've, it's been an early morning for the kid, man. But uh, I called Airlift. Was on hold with Airlift for about an hour and a half. Um, they finally came to the phone. I emailed. Shoot, shout out to Blue Kevin. I mean, at first, you know, I guess it's because it's early in the morning. He had a little bit of attitude or whatever. But um, I ended up emailing him the pictures that I'll go ahead and put on the screen right now of the struts. And he said that there's two options. One, the locking bolt at the top of the strut 
um, unthreaded, came out, whatever the case may be. Um, and so that's why that little rod that you guys see in this picture right here is uh, hanging. It's supposed to be connected together. That way there's an O-ring at the top and there's an O-ring at the bottom. Um, and that way it holds all the air in the car, um, in the bag. So with that being said, I need to drop the strut and see if that nut is, uh, if it came off. If it came off, all I gotta do is tighten it down and we good, back in action, um, fill it back in with air and hopefully it holds air. Now, if it didn't come off and the bolt snapped, that's when we get really pricey, um, you feel me? So if it did snap in order to replace the assembly, um, I have to pay $600 uh with the goddamn six hundred dollars with shipping for it to be shipped out and make it here probably tomorrow i'd overnight it so it make it here tomorrow and i can go ahead and replace it and i'll be able to make it to dallas this weekend for the big youtube call out uh demonology is hosting with dunk master so this is where we are right now i put the car back on the ground i got everything in the trunk taken out the floor and all that because i thought that the top of the strut would be uh would pop out of you know what I mean, the trunk, but it doesn't. I have to take the strut completely out to see the top of the strut. So with that being said, man, I'm at work right now. Um, whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car back up again, uh, take out the strut, and I'll cut the camera back on and show you guys what I found. But I just wanted to update y'all real quick. It's been a rough morning, man, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay the cost to be the boss. We gonna make it happen, we gonna make it work. Mama's gonna be back in full force, but I just need to, have it fixed today, hopefully fix it today so that I can still go down to j Rod's shop and get the transmission tune looked at and fixed um, so that Mamba will be ready to get an oil change um, and a, a nice wash before this trip. So with that being said, man, I'll see you guys when I cut this camera back on. All right, y'all, so update. Finally got the strut, the bag, and the top hat off. And uh, so this is supposed to, I'm assuming, it's supposed to sit in there like that. Um, and then that is supposed to sit connected to this. But as you guys can see, that joint looks like it's sheared off. I don't know how the hell it would shear off like that off of a bump, but it did. Um, and so this is why I'm using air. I don't know if I can get over rid this hole and fix it. Um, I don't know if I can go somewhere and buy this piece. I don't know, bro. This piece right here, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know if I can get this piece. I don't fucking know. I'm probably gonna have to try to see if I can get a whole new assembly sent through airlift um, overnighted so we can have a car back and running, back up and running by Dallas. Um, but yeah, um, this is where we at right now. Just want to update y'all about the car airlift. Send them over some pictures and see what they say. All right, y'all, so huh, it is currently the next day. Um, I've been going back and forth with my guy Kevin over at Airlift. Huge shout out to you, bro. Um, he's gonna take care of me, send over a replacement strut. I need to replace the entire strut and the bag because the O-ring, as you guys saw in the pictures, got ripped out um, when the bolt snapped. So with that being said, I gotta replace everything with my guy Kevin cool enough to uh you know go ahead and tell me that we're gonna go ahead and get it get it sent out i'm gonna try i'm um, still emailing him right now i'm gonna try to go ahead and um get him to overnight it so that i can go ahead and knock that out and get that fixed by tomorrow which is thursday and then hopefully 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 depending on how school goes bro i might be able to go up to match shop friday and get the transmission to him and everything fixed and be ready for saturday so with all that being said man um, it's been, it's been a hectic, um, 24 hours, uh, <laughs> walked home yesterday, saw four turkeys and a fucking peacock <laughs> on the way home. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys were in the live chat yesterday, then you guys would have known that. But without further ado, man, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think, because I've never seen nothing like that. But without further ado, man, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.